the rows of empty seats long before the end of the second game of a doubleheader said it all about a dreary contest, bringing to mind the Peter Cook joke about Spurs. I climbed the wall at White Hart Lane at half-time on Saturday. A policeman caught me and told me to get back in. Quins go in for close matches at the start of a campaign but, after being 26 ahead at the interval through tries from their left wings, Hugo Munai and his replacement Oli Lindsay Haig, they should have won comfortably against limited, if persistent, opponents. A loss of discipline and four missed penalties by Nick Evans made it far closer than it should have been. It was not perfect but it gives us something to build on, said the Harlequins and England fullback Mike Brown. We would probably have lost a game like that a year ago but we are going to have to be better on Friday when we face Saracens. Twelve months ago, Quinns were fortunate to beat Wasps by a point, after Andy Good missed a conversion at the death, and lost at home to Northampton six days later. We have a poor recent record against Saracens and we are keen to turn that around, said the No-8 Nick Easter. We did not have a great first six weeks last season which meant we had to play catch up and not being able to rest and rotate meant we ran out of steam in the playoff semi-final, against Saracens. Harlequins lost their momentum when their new captain, Joe Marla, was sent to the Simbin 90 seconds into the second half for a dangerous tackle on the London Irish hooker David P. Ice, the victim of a high shot eight minutes later from the prop Kyle Sinclair who was also given 10 minutes to reflect on his technique. Irish responded through the boot of Shane Geraghty, winning the second half 9-0, but their lack of potency was summed up by their one threatening attack, which ended after a series of phases near their opponent's line when the ball emerged and, as a number of players in green gawped at it, Quinns helped themselves, 